Yes. So not only was it the first first iron ship uh, of any scale, uh, but it was also you know, third bigger than anything in the Royal Navy at, uh, at the time. They talked about that when we were on the Warrior I mean, the other day, that uh, it was Brunel that was leading the way on what the, the pinnacle of engineering was like. It was not the Royal Navy who was convinced that it was sail that needed to lead. Yeah, Brunel had seen a, a much smaller propeller-driven vessel tried out, which, which was being toured around mm-hmm. uh, the country. Uh, and so they were midway through the kind of design of this when they decided it wasn't going to be a paddle steamer, right. which, which its predecessor, the world's first ocean liner, the Great Western, was a paddle steamer that took you to New York. He decided that, and he announced to the, to the board that he was going to make a, a ship that was driven by a propeller, which was the, you know, the first. And this is, this is actually a replica of his uh, patent propeller uh, design.